Thank you. Thank you, Chairman Valpo and members of the Health Policy Committee. Yes, my name is Jennifer Behan. Um, I'm the Executive Director of Center for Inquiry Michigan. This, this is the local branch of an international nonprofit, uh, Center for Inquiry. We work to advance reason, science, and secular values in public affairs and uh, make sure that government policy is based on evidence, science, and compassion rather than uh, superstition, pseudoscience, or prejudice. Um, I, I do have a written copy that I have given you guys of, of my testimony, so I will paraphrase a few sections to keep it short uh, per the uh, chair's request. Uh, I will say that uh, I had an incorrect link on page two that I corrected before I emailed a PDF um, to the clerk, so that will have the corrected link in it for you guys to access. Uh, I am here to express uh, opposition to House Bill uh, 4710 because the, um, the state should only be licensing uh, medical professions whose practices are supported by science and evidence. Uh, it is essential for two reasons, to protect the public from dubious and potential practitioners, and also because the state licensure confers the authority of the state with the respectability that that provides the profession. Contrary to what the practitioners and supporters have claimed, acupuncture is supported neither by science nor evidence. Uh, acupuncture has no basis in human physiology or science. The meridians that they claim to use, uh, where they are supposedly put the needles, have no basis in anatomy, and the life energy, the, the chi, uh, whose flow that they claim to unblock uh, or redirect has no basis in physics or chemistry and has never been detected or characterized. Uh, it is claimed that acupuncture is effective for a wide variety of conditions with little or no relationship to the pathophysiology or root cause. Um, and from a scientific perspective, this is a very big flag because it cannot be shown to prove uh, that it works for anything other than nonspecific effects. Uh, indeed, uh, it has been often uh, characterized as theatrical placebo uh, because uh, in the overall majority of the literature, it does not exceed placebo effect levels. Uh, there is a link on the bottom of the first page that addresses that specific thing in detail. Uh, and specifically, the FDA uses the standards um, when they approve new treatments that you have to show a significant effect over the placebo effect in order to show that is, it is actual and effective uh, treatment. So there are individual studies that do show that acupuncture can perform better than placebo for specific ailments. But if you look at the examine, uh, if you examine critically the total evidence, uh, it's very clearly that it is indistinguishable from sham acupuncture or placebo effect. So one, one good example of this is a, a study that they did in 2009 in Germany. Um, they actually used uh, toothpicks as a placebo control and they simply twirled them on the people's skin uh, in different places and they did not even use them in the correct spots that were supposed to be for the acupuncture um, and the effects of the people that had that versus the true treatment uh, were not distinguishable. And there's a link to the article for that uh, study there, as well as a comparative review of the research literature uh, from the Acupuncture Evidence Project. Um, and that is in the corrected uh, link that I gave to the clerk. Um, the, the other concern that I have with this bill specifically is uh, that this bill does not just seek to license acupuncturists. Um, they are actually going beyond that to expand the scope of practice to include a bunch of things that are uh, grouped under the term traditional Chinese medicine, which is a very broad and vague term that um, has been used to include a lot of different things, um, including moxibustion, homeopathy, acupressure, cupping, dermal friction, and several other treatments. Homeopathy in particular is very concerning because um, this is a scientifically discredited form of treatment. Uh, in 2017, the Federal Trade Commission warned homeopathy marketers that if they are found to be misleading consumers, um, they, they will be found to be illegally misleading consumers unless they state clearly on the products that there is no scientific evidence that the product works. Uh, so that should not be included in a bill on acupuncture anyway. Um, additionally, acupuncture originated in Asia, um, though it's unclear when, and homeopathy originated in Germany in the late, 18, in the late 1700s and has never been a part of traditional Chinese medicine at all. So to include that is completely factually inaccurate. 
Uh, the other treatments encompassed by the scope of the practice expansion um, granted to acupuncturists by this bill are scarcely better in terms of their evidence base. Traditional Chinese medicine, for instance, is based on pre-scientific beliefs about the how the body works, how the body works, excuse me, and is not validated by science. Um, and the other treatments in the list, such as therapeutic exercise, dietary counseling, manual therapy, are distinct therapies that should not be lumped under East Asian medical techniques. Uh, these should be evaluated independently for licensure based on the scientific evidence um, available for those specific techniques. I know the bill does state that, you, that the acupuncture is not to be doing any of the chiropractic or massage therapy or those other things. But then if that's the case, why are we even including that under the definition of East Asian medical techniques? Thank you, thank you very much for your testimony. We, I'm going to allow one question, and then we're going to try to get to all of the people that wish to, to speak. So uh, Representative Whitware. Hi, thank you for coming today. Can you let me know if your national organization and your organization, do they oppose the other 46 states that are licensed? Yes, we do not think that acupuncture should be licensed in any state uh, because there is not enough evidence to show that it actually is an effective treatment. Um, and at the national level and also in other state legislatures, we have gone and tried to advocate against bills, but uh, we were unsuccessful. Thank you. Representative Pohutsky, if you have a short question, go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I, I agree that we need to be cautious about legitimizing things that, that may not have scientific basis. Um, is, would perhaps licensing this particular procedure, um, would that help make it safer or, or you know, like in, ensure that there were standards or, or is, that, is that counterintuitive? Actually, as uh, Rep uh, Representative Liberati pointed out, there really isn't much in the bill that actually addresses the safety standards. And uh, as the previous gentleman mentioned, too, the, the new licensing is basically following the same model as the registration already. So there really isn't any new information on how to regulate that and make sure that it's safe. Great. Thank you for clarifying. Thank you very much for your Thank testimony. Thank you very much for your time.